Alright, so this is the controller that I use. Oh my god, there's so much stuff on my desk. I need to clean my desk off. Alright. Alright. I'm gonna drink some water. And then we're gonna get started. How does that sound? Good evening! <laughs> it is officially Hades o'clock. Which is to say it's Thursday. Which would be Thor's day. Which is kind of like Zeus. So it's kind of like Zeus day. Which is kind of like Hades. So really when you think about it. Like Thursday being Hades day is the obvious choice. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's how it works, right? <laughs> this is like... 100% correct. Undisagreeableness-able. <clears throat> There's no way you can possibly disagree with my logic, is what I'm trying to say here. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for subscribing, Trip Dinosaur friend. <laughs> Man, speaking of dinosaurs, um, my roommate and I were actually just talking about dinosaurs and how adorable they are. So, it's a good thing. Dinosaurs are cute. So... So, so, Hades um, does not, to my knowledge, have dinosaurs in it, but it is otherwise an excellent game. So I could, if we want me to, put on one of my two Zagreus laurel crown thingies, if we want to, like, feel triumphant. Should we feel triumphant? I have not yet seen that movie, Chrono. I've been told my roommate thinks it's really good and has told me that I should watch it. Oh man. The the, the double clicks have a song about Demastodon. Hold on. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's celebrate the fact that we had a victory. Sorry, I think I'm a little too loud. Am I a little too loud? Probably a little bit too loud. I'm always too loud. <laughs> There's one thing you can count on me for, it's wordsing. Although I will say, um, I was finishing up um, my Final Fantasy XIV stream from last week so I could put it on YouTube and uh, and I like was like, wow, my voice is quiet. I was tired. I was losing my voice. That's no good. <sighs> Victory, folks. This is the face of victory. Um, I'm going to try this again. Um, no, I can do this. I can do this. I can be a functional adult human. Look, do you see I cut my hair? Yes. Okay. We're going to, um, this is my general silliness and then we'll recap. Look, okay. I think a, a true professional streamer would be like, I'm going to recap all professionally. And I'm like, instead I'm going to put something on my head and fail at it and then be silly. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, but, uh, um, okay, so last week was very exciting. And I was, no, last week was, like, super exciting. Like, the, like, if we, like, think, like, like, you know, Saturday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday is, like, that's, like, a stream, then, like, I fought the secret hidden boss in, uh, in Delta Rune Chapter 2 and was victorious on my second try. I started a new game and defeated the difficulties of capture cards last Tuesday to uh, to play Horizon Zero Dawn. Then Wednesday, I finished an entire section, like a little like subchapter of Stormblood. And then Thursday, which is your day, because you're here because you watch Hades. And Thursday is the Hades day. As we have discussed, Thursday is clearly the only day that one could play Hades. Um, we finally defeated Dad which is very exciting. Um, apparently it was a close call. I don't remember how low folks said my health dropped down to, <clears throat> but it was pretty low, pretty low. 27? No, I thought it was like 27 or 37 when I beat it, but I thought that it dropped a little bit lower, um, but then it came back due to the beauty of regen. Well, I was thinking about it and regen is like the perfect fit for the way I play video games because apparently with the exception of finally getting into the world of Horizon Zero Dawn, usually I am a very cautious, defensive player. Um, so like usually things that it's like I'm going to go hide and recover my health. I can stand in the back corner of this boss fight for five minutes getting my health back that's my jam 
Um, and apparently in Hades, it works the same way. Um, especially because it turns out um, there are pillars you can hide behind. Hey, I just want to say, like, kudos to the developers. Because um, the reason why I was able to figure out what to do with Hades Phase 2, if you'll recall, I had seen that Hades has a phase two, but I didn't survive it long enough to get any idea how any of it worked prior to last week when we fought him and actually defeated him for the first time. Um, and so there was a lot of figuring things out on the fly, which I somehow managed to do, which I'm very excited about. But part of that is because the game itself has trained me. Um, so if you'll think back on sticks, um, where I had to do every single room, Um, like, um, so think about the, 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 the snake statues that do lasers. What else does lasers that you have to hide behind pillars to avoid that are not the same exact thing as the lasers that the crystals do? So actually, the technique that I used to take down Hades at the end when he started doing that laser thing was because I'd figured out how to do that specific thing against the statue, the snake statues that do lasers in the sticks sections. So like that was brilliant game design because that's like teaching you exactly what you need to know to fight Hades right before you go fight Hades. I thought that was really cool. It took me a little while to figure out that that's what I had done and why I had done it, but I thought that was neat. Um, but yeah, um, sorry, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm sitting here talking about the mechanics and stuff because like it's cool and Hades has really cool mechanics and it's really fun and interesting and I now understand why people talk about that stuff, but I haven't even scratched the surface of like, oh, I don't know, the whole like meeting Persephone thing. <laughs> Also, Diabolic Kubro, welcome. Welcome to your first live Hades stream. Hopefully we'll have some fun while you're here. Um, thank you for joining us. And for anyone else who's come over here from um, from the, uh, the YouTube archive land, welcome. Welcome, welcome. YouTube, if you're watching this in the future, first of all, don't spoil the future for those of us in the past. But also feel free to come on by if you ever want to. Um, so yeah, like there's like there's like a lot of little things that teach you how to fight things going forward. Yeah, well because like Elysium has the spear dudes and the shield dudes. And so spear dudes and shield dudes, you fight a spear shield dude. Who might be the most obnoxious character in the game. But it's okay because I think the game knows it. <laughs> no, please, Dominic, don't break the space-time continuum. We will all be very sad if that happens. Huh. So yeah, so now I kind of wonder whether like that's like a thing that I should pay attention to in well-designed games. If I encounter a boss and I'm like, hmm, what non-boss has techniques like this that I can practice on? I bet that that's there. It's not really ever been a thing that I could figure out in the past. Um, so like, I'm learning, folks. I'm learning to play games, which has meant that I was a little cocky and ridiculous playing Horizon Zero Dawn, which has never happened before. Usually I'm scared of, like, stepping on plants. So going prancing through the wilderness until dinosaurs chase me. <laughs> it's not usually in character. But, but, so, so Hades, which is part of what's given me, I think, that <laughs> earned or unearned confidence, um, like, 38, the 38th attempt, we made it out. It was really, really cool and exciting. So one of the problems that I anticipated, and I was like, I should have faith in super giant games. But one of the things that I was concerned about is how are they going to make the story work when it loops? How are they going to make it not cheap that they send you back to the start? Um, and I, my friends were like, it's gonna be okay Lauren they're gonna do a good job you're gonna like it and I was like I should have faith in them I should have faith in them I'm gonna have faith in them but it's still like you're still kind of like how are they gonna pull that off well turns out that they're pulling it off well um because rather than it feeling cheap it's like First of all, the emotional frustration of that situation is mirrored in your character's emotional frustration. Like, they're recognizing that sending you back through the loop 
could be something that's like annoying or upsetting about it. We're like, but I beat the game. Why am I having to do it over again? And Zagreus is having a similar emotional journey, which is great. Anytime you can have the player or the character like overlap their emotional experiences or what they're learning or things like that, like that tends to be a good thing. Um, apparently, Blues, I do need to uh, have faith. Well, because like their writer has consistently been excellent. Um, and I, I might I might go back and play Pyre. <laughs> <laughs> this is any indication. Um, no, like, like they, they do a really, really lovely job of setting that up. So I get the feeling that eventually I'm going to probably be able to actually get out. I think. Um, we'll see. I kind of feel like we might. Um, but in the meantime, I don't mind the fact that I'm going to have to keep going out there because within the, within the story, within the context of what's happening in the game world as Agrius experiences it, he is going to have to do this again and again and again and hopefully get out to see his mom more often than not until we, until we give up our godhood and become mortal and the two of us walk off together to live like a mortal life and Zagreus is like, I will take what I can get with this and then I suppose I'll go down and give, give myself up to what I'm supposed to have been doing all along, but let me have one mortal life with my mother. I actually don't know if that's what's going to happen, but, but currently that's my, that's my working theory. <laughs> Because something that they've talked about and that they've highlighted. Sorry, we've gotten into the mini golfing part of the stream. Would you like to listen to music? Let's listen to music. Okay, hold on. There's not really much music in here. There's a little music. Okay, we're going to listen to a little bit of music while we mini golf. How does that sound? Are you ready for the mini golfing part of the stream? I haven't even gotten to like the emotional feelings, like feelings about Persephone. No, like, so one of the things thematically that they've been doing a lot, and I feel like, I guess I say they, but I guess they've got one writer is Greg Kasavin, their one writer. Um, he's like, he's very, very, very skilled. He's clearly very skilled. One thing I've really been enjoying lately is I feel like I've been playing games written by people who are better writers than me. And like, I have a little bit of an ego about my writing. Um, when I'm not crushed by the feeling of being the worst writer ever and nothing I do is any good and nothing's going to amount to anything or anything like that. Um, <laughs> you know how that goes, the roller coaster of writing. Um, but, uh, but, uh, but like, I feel like there's been a lot that I've been able to learn by like, how do these people who are very good at things do what they do so well? Um, which is, which is great fun. It's great fun. Um, the Pyre Defense Force is here to defend Pyre's honor. Maybe I'll play Pyre at some point and then we'll see where I stand on this. But no, um, so I feel as though Greg Kasavin, is that how I say his name? I, I apologize if I'm saying your name wrong. You'll never know that I said your name wrong, but I'll still feel bad about it. Um, but the, so the super giant games writer um, is clearly very, very skilled and very, very intentional. And so I feel as though the little things that I'm picking up on are intentional um, because they're definitely there. And they kind of all begin to line up together. So it seems like they're going somewhere. So specifically, um, the idea of growth and the value of mortal life, the fact that the mortals grow and evolve and become better versions of themselves over the course of their undeath, um, is really, um, like that seems to be noticeably a thing. Um, and in some cases, it's stuff that we just kind of have to extrapolate because Sisyphus, as far as I can tell, nobody's like, man, Sisyphus used to be a jerk, but now he's a nice guy in Hades. Um, we know that Sisyphus was not the greatest fellow uh, in, uh, in, well, I was going to say in real life, but in the mythology in the in the in the the stories that we have about him um it's just like he's really smart but also was not um not great um so, but we have nobody within like this is the only this is the only thing we have with anybody talking about sisyphus right here um and yet it's we can assume sisyphus has chilled out and like learned the error of his ways kind of and become a nice guy because he's a nice guy he is a nice dude. He's very kind to Zagreus. Um, and he does, he really doesn't have to be. Um, and I think that's very sweet and telling. Um, but because we have no 
actual comparison in the game world, we have to assume that this is similar to how he was in mythology, where he wasn't nice and then he became nice. Um, but fortunately for us, we have other characters who were mortals of legend who have now lived th lived their death, lived their own life. I, how do you talk about that? I think you're right, Blues. I think Sisyphus did say that, that he wasn't a great person. But we don't really have, like, other people commenting on his, like, growth or, or change revolution quite like that. Um, but, uh, but Achilles, I think, talks some about how he's grown. We hear a little bit from uh, Patroclus. Um, we have Orpheus and Eurydice um, talking about themselves and each other, too. And so kind of taken all together, like, we have the... Oh, and then not... not to mention the biggest character change of them all, as far as I can tell. Everybody else seems like they kind of went from being like a selfish jerk to a nice dude <laughs> or something along those lines or like, you know, um, a like, you know, weak, young, unsure thing becoming a strong, independent woman. Um, it's not exactly the same character arc as the others. Um, but I do think that when I'm like, their Eurydice is not the Eurydice that I knew, I actually think that their Eurydice used to be the Eurydice that I knew and has changed, which is cool and interesting. Um, but Asterius here specifically, um, like... We don't really get to know the Minotaur as a person much in legend. Um, but they, both both Asterius and Theseus, talk a little bit about what Asterius was like previously. Because um, I think that the Minotaur was not in Elysium, like, being a hero, until Theseus got his hands on him and was like, Yo, buddy, come here and be part of my, like, wrestling tag team. Is that not where tag team comes from? Uh, I expect some of you will probably know that better than I do. Um, but uh, but yeah, so so Asterius has had this massive change from being this like like angry, alone, monstrous person. I mean, I think it's clear that he has always had sentience, but if you are sufficiently abused and abandoned, like, you're not going to show your best self. So, you know, Asterius, who is half human, um, like, abandoned as a baby in a labyrinth, left alone, with except for people who come to try to kill him, like, yeah, he's probably not going to be a very functional person <laughs> after an experience like that. Um, and, and yet, and yet here he is, he is like, kind of, he's, he's honorable, and kind in his own weird sort of violent way like i really like i really like asterius um as a character but he's had like a huge amount of growth and like so he loves theseus presumably because theseus is the first person to have ever shown him love which for all that like we all like to talk about how theseus is the worst like first of all first of all it does really come across as a persona that he's wearing. Like when someone was like, you know, he, 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 he comes across as a, as a, um, like a, a wrestler, as a professional wrestler. I was like, oh yeah, actually that makes a lot of sense. Like he's clearly wearing a persona. So the, he's the absolute literal worst that we see about him, um, may not actually necessarily be who he is. Also, again, as far as I can tell, there's no no reason why Theseus, if he really is the worst, would come across this monster he slew earlier in his lifetime and say, you're my brother now. Come with me to Elysium. That's pretty cool, actually. And if you put it in that context, it makes sense why Asterius stands up for Theseus. Now, Zagreus has no way of understanding that. Like, Zagreus doesn't have the context or the perspective to understand that. Um, so, like, Theseus is a total jerk to Zagreus. Maybe he thinks he has to be. I don't know. 
I don't know exactly how much of Theseus is Theseus's personality and Theseus's persona overlap. Um, but I'm willing to buy that he's like a pain and you don't really want to be friends with him because he's so annoying and not really very nice. But also, I think you cannot, I cannot overstate how significant it is that as far as I can tell, completely by his own like decision, Theseus found again the monster that he slew and was like, hey, come with me to Elysium. Let's be partners. You're my brother now. That's really cool and interesting. But Asterius has grown because of the love that he has been shown by <laughs> Theseus. Um, like, that's that's change, folks. Like, that is these are not the people they were when they died. And the game makes it clear that they are not the people they were when they died. Um, so from there, I can kind of, like, assume that, you know, we're going to dig into Achilles and, and Patroclus and see kind of what happens with them. <clears throat> I think Eurydice is not the person she was when Orpheus knew her, and I wonder whether Orpheus has changed or not. Um, and perhaps, like, Orpheus's stubborn refusal to uh, sing for Hades is in some way connected to some internal strength and conviction that maybe he lacked. Although, to be fair, coming down into the underworld to try to rescue your love is a pretty big deal. He... he he, he, he dropped the ball at the end in a very significant way. Um, but I think he did still manage to accomplish more than a lot of people could. Um, but, uh, but I'm really curious to see if Orpheus and Eurydice manage to reconnect. How much have they changed and grown? I assume they'll comment on that when we reconnect Achilles and Patroclus in that case. Like, what are they going to think of each other? What is that going to be like? Theseus and Asterius have changed. Um, I don't know what Skelly's deal is, but I'm looking forward to figuring it out. Um... But, uh, but yeah, so that seems to me a significant bit of what's going on behind the scenes in the story of this game, which I didn't have, I had no idea that's what we were going to be doing. And it is entirely possible that I'm mistaken and this isn't actually a function, like a focus of the game story character stuff, but come on, it really feels like it's important to me. Um, again, folks, just in case anyone is watching this for the first time, um, live, or the first time ever, if you just happen to stumble in here and you're like, why is this girl talking so much about Hades? Sorry, I talk a lot. Um, we do have a stream spoilers channel on our Discord, so you can go there. Go, go to the Discord, ask to be given the spoiler fans um, role, and then you can go into that channel, and then you can yell about these things. So I am over here speculating about things that I think are going to be important. So if it is hard for you to not tell me, you go there, and then you yell together. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, but yes, yeah, so so that's kind of something that I think that is is being built on, and I think that's going to actually be contrasted with the Olympians. I feel like in their afterlife, then we'll go with afterlife. Um, I feel like the humans become better. Like all of these, and we're Asterius counts; he's half human. Um, Eurydice counts; she's mortal. Um, the mortals, we'll say the mortals. Um, they they become better in their afterlives and that's significant on the other hand speaking of the literal worst <laughs> the gods don't change so they can just be their worst selves and that's just how it is um and some of them are complicated and interesting people who react to things and so they act differently because something has happened but I I think ultimately like one of the problems with immortals is that they don't necessarily grow and change over time um, which isn't so great um, and so like there's a contrast there um, these folks genuinely seem to care with these folks it's kind of debatable Persephone didn't want to go back to be among them Persephone we're gonna talk, are we ready to talk about Persephone? We're going to talk about Persephone. We're going to talk a bit about Persephone now. Um, so first of all, also, did you notice, like, I feel like, like, look, there's, like, green ribbons on his chair, I think, or green something on his chair. There's, like, little bits of green. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm reading into things, but just I feel like there's, like, little green. I guess there's green accents. I guess it's just colorful accents. Never mind. Put that aside. Put that aside. Pretend I didn't say that. <laughs> no, so Persephone. First of all, she's everything I wanted her to be. I was totally correct about, um, about Demeter's, oh, Demeter is apparently actually, actually a correct pronunciation is actually the most common 
correct pronunciation. And apparently the writer uh, for Supergiant Games said that he chose a less common but still correct pronunciation for some reason. Apparently. So that means an entire lifetime of studying Greek mythology and talking about Greek gods in classes with teachers and professors and stuff. Somehow my failure to learn to say the word Demeter is not on me. It's that actually Demeter is an appropriate pronunciation for her, which is very, very gratifying. Um, but, uh, but no, like, so, so I was, I was, I was excited to know that the ribbon is in fact the ribbon that I thought it was. Um, but, uh, but she is like, first of all, I mean, that scene was beautifully acted. Um, but something that I really like, um, that I really liked was getting to know a little bit more about Hades himself. Like when Hades says like, tell her Kerberos is okay. Like she knows what he's trying to communicate when he says that. And you can kind of see in the way he says that and the way she responds to it. You can see, um, um, you can see Hades, the man who loved Persephone and was loved by Persephone, um, which I wasn't sure that I expected to see, but it makes sense. Um, but when she's really upset that they did not tell her that her son was alive, which like, do I have any idea how he's alive or dead or what? I don't know. We'll get into that in a minute. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but she like, she's personally offended that neither Hades nor Nyx told her. She's like, well, I mean, Hades or even Nyx, like surely Nyx, if anyone would tell me those two, I thought they were different. I thought they weren't like the Olympians. So she has issues with the Olympians. Having spent some time talking to the Olympians, at least on most of them, I'm inclined to say I get it. Persephone, I really do. <laughs> um, which also like, yes, thank you to everybody who has sent me pictures of Persephone and Nyx. Look, I can see it, okay? <laughs> but, uh, but I think that it's interesting that like Nyx, yes, Nyx knows where she is. Um, and, uh, and, uh, Persephone has clearly been close enough that she's like, they would take care of me. Um, and I think that's, that's, that's a good question mark right there of like, well, what, what happens? What is that relationship? Um, why didn't Nyx or Hades tell her? I don't know. I, I have, I have thoughts, <laughs> but I don't know. Um, I don't know. So I wonder if, um, where all this is going, they, there's that, um, um, I think, uh, I think it was Zagreus made some comments about like having this really short time with his mom or, or, or no, one, either Zagreus or Persephone, somebody said something about making the most of the time that you have, even if it's very short, um, like mortals do. And that made me feel like that's maybe something we're going to dig into. Maybe in order to be with his mother, Zagreus will experience a mortal life. I don't know. I don't know for sure, but, uh, but that could happen. So we'll find out maybe eventually. Um, but I, I don't know. So I had thought that Hades had like created the sun out of nothing. Um, and no, but his son died. How does the God of death's son die? And how is he then pulled back? But I was very correct in assuming that Persephone would not have abandoned her child if she had known. So I was very satisfied with that. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of where we are. That's where I am anyway. That's really what I've got to say. I'm sorry this was like a big long thing, but I figure you by now you probably know that I'm going to talk about things. And those of you on YouTube can just like click ahead <laughs> to the chapters. Um, yeah, so that's, that's kind of where I am. As far as what I think is going to happen next, like, we're going to just going to keep going. There's a lot of things to unlock. Um, but also like there's an entire undiscovered thing here. So I have like no idea what that is. The artifacts. There's a couple we haven't gotten there either. We've got all of these. There's a location in the underworld we haven't been to yet before you get to Greece, which is interesting that it counts as the underworld, but I get why they did that. Um, 
but so there's some place we haven't been yet. I really feel like the other note is Persephone. Maybe not, but I think so. So we'll see where that goes. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of things that are still gonna come together. But last time, I now have a, f I now have like 50 billion keys, but that's fine. I can trade them in for something or use them for something. I don't know what I'm gonna use keys for. Um, but what does this one do? Randomly alter the words. Yeah, so this has those fate things that I think I might want, but I'm not sure. I don't know, man. I think I did check the flip check the flip side of these. Yeah, so this is rewards. Boon to be legendary or duo. Oh, I guess I hadn't done these. Legendary or duo, that's that's interesting. Oh, it's more expensive. I was like, why is that it's more expensive? That's that's how it balances out. Yeah, Faded Persuasion. Oh, so this is just a re-roll. Oh, it's just a re-roll. Evil Miera has redeemed Hydrate, by the way, folks. So I will be drinking some water. <clears throat> yeah, well, in order to get those, though, it's interesting that's a pyramid, a blob. Hold up, folks. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Folks. What color are these? They're green. What color are these? They're red. What's up with the red and green dichotomy? Oh, 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 it's Hades versus Persephone. It's the two parts of Zagreus's nature. So I'm gonna look at these from that perspective, if you don't mind. All right, so these are, I think, his Hades aspects. I could be mistaken, but I, I'm choosing to think I'm right. So shadow presence, strike from behind, fiery presence. Hmm. Why do I have this instead of this? I don't know. Dark, but this one is, this one says dark though. Restore some of your, okay, well we could read into this. Wait, hold on. Okay, this is the one that I usually use. This is not the one that I usually use. Three hearts when you exit a chamber. Uh, that's not a lot. That's three life points, that's all? That's not very much. Hmm. <clears throat> Every room, I guess maybe so. I don't know. I don't know. I'll figure it out, I suppose. Also, hi, Cole. Welcome. Uh, let's see. Stubborn defiance. Hold on. Per chamber. That could be interesting. But this is multiple lives. That is interesting, though. That is interesting. That is super interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, you only get one. Well, I mean, you have the tooth. Yeah, no, that is really interesting though. 
that would fit a certain person's play style. Not necessarily mine, but I could absolutely see how that would be the right choice for someone who isn't me. Stubborn defiance. That's an infinity. I think that's an infinity. I could be wrong. Greater reflex, ruthless reflex. As double dash. The timing of that would be hard. A little foot though. Abyssal blood. Okay, yeah, so all of these do sound dark. Like no, there's not no so far there's not been a thing where I'm like, oh that actually definitely sounds like it would be a that definitely sounds like it would be Persephone instead, but uh, let's see. Make foes with blobs. Do less damage and move less. Oh, that would actually be super useful against bosses, like, and things. What would I mean when you? That would have to mean that you didn't have a blob feature that was like a laser blob, actually. Hmm. Yeah, well, like, Persephone is definitely stubborn, but, like, some of these other things, like, boiling blood or abyssal blood, like, I would have expected those to be backwards, because there's fiery stuff on the green one earlier, and abyssal definitely sounds like it has to do with... Here, okay, so... Bonus attack and special damage to foes with that. Or this is them do less damage. Oh! Why do I... Why do I have this one?! I mean, don't get me wrong, that's good. But if my entire policy, if my entire strategic approach is I want them to not be able to hit me, <laughs> I feel like, but then again, this is a lot of bonus damage that I, I don't even know I was doing. I mean, obviously it is what I put points into, but I'm just, I'm curious about that. Um, let's see, have, more blobs. This is regenerate blobs. It turns out I don't like regenerating blobs. I have concluded that I don't like regenerating blobs. Let's see. Um, hmm. All right. Start with a little bit more money. This would be useful for purchasing a death defiance. Actually, this might be more useful. Should I see what the golden touch? I assume that that little image is referencing Midas. So maybe those are donkey ears or something like that. Oh my god, I was on the bus the other day. Um, and uh, these two teenagers next to me were talking about Greek mythology. One of them was trying to remember why Midas had the donkey's ears and why Midas was turning things to gold. And he's like, I'm pretty sure that wasn't a good thing, but I don't remember exactly what happened. I was just like, oh my god, children. It was very cute. All right, so thick skin. Let's have more life. High confidence. <laughs> Deal bonus damage when you've got lots of health. So that's not me. Privileged status. Family favorite. Oh my god. It's not inaccurate, folks. Hades has power. Persephone is loved. And missed. But she doesn't feel that, like it's not reciprocated. I wonder if the people, I wonder if her family on Olympus, like, uh, let her down some really significant and profound way. I'm really curious, in this story, how Hades and Persephone got together. Why it is that Persephone's family didn't know that she was in the underworld. I don't know. It's all very interesting. So, yeah. So this is if you have more Olympians. <sighs> no. Olympian favor. Dark foresight. I mean, I actually have nothing. I don't know. It's dark. Again, it's dark. Uh, let's see. Okay. Raise your chance for rewards. So there's a hammer, money, palm, and what's that other one? That's the green thing. What else is there? There's other things. Mm. 
Hmm. Bringing things is a boon. Raise your chance for, for boons? But you're gonna get those anyway. I don't understand. Then run rewards instead of currency? I don't know how that works. I don't know how that works. Oh, boons and palms and hearts instead of gems and keys and darkness. Oh, so this is if you want to not get... Oh! Oh! Oh, oh, those are all things that you trade for stuff. Those are all things that you trade for stuff. Okay. So instead of getting stuff that you trade for stuff outside of a run, you just get stuff that is useful inside of a run. Okay. Okay. So this is if you're like, I'm going to beat Hades up. I'm just going to smash Hades as much as possible. This is what you do. Emil has redeemed hydrate. I will drink some water. All right. God's pride. God's legacy, because he is descended from them after all. And their pride. That looks like the blob, but purple surrounded by the laurel. And I don't know what that, that just looks like. Splatty splat spot. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Faded authority. That is the little shape of the little fate thing. Faded persuasion is a pyramid for some reason. I don't know. So, like, I should probably make some decisions here. Let's see what happens if we try this. I've never tried this one before. This is do more damage the first time you hit something. And this is do more damage if you hit from behind. I am used to being able to backstab. So backstab or nah, we'll do backstab. Backstab is more continuing. We'll do that. Um, let's see. I think I'm gonna keep death defiance because I don't think that stubborn defiance works for me. But I think that I can see why it would be useful. Additional dash versus having perfect timing. We're gonna do double dash. Boiling blood. Let's try this one, shall we? I think. Oh, I don't know though. So this makes them do less damage. This makes me do more damage. I mean, I'm probably just gonna get a laser blob anyway, so. Hmm. 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 Golden touch, get an extra blob. Yes, I want the extra blob. Or not the golden touch, that's the soul. Sorry, something's beeping outside. <laughs> All right. <sighs> so you gain 5% of your current money. That's actually not very much. So we're going to try this. Thick skin, more life. No, <laughs> that's not going to fit me. Family favorite, privileged status. No. <clears throat> Dark foresight. No. So we're going to go with this. God's legacy. God's pride. <clears throat> Faded persuasion. Wow. That's dice rolling. That's a d20 and that's a d4. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. That's really cute. Super giant games. You might be nerds. <laughs> huh. Yeah, it's re rolling. Randomly alter the rewards for the next chamber. Or randomly alter Boon and Will of Caron choices. Oh. That would be really nice to get another chance at a death defiance, is what I'm seeing there. Oh, so you just get dice. Huh. Huh. 
I mean, it's gonna be this. This doesn't seem useful enough. Oh, let's see what happens when we do this. Oh, that's expensive. Wow, oh, that's expensive. Epic or legendary. I wonder if I just took my point out of that. Took all of my points out of that and put them all into here. Well, I might sit on this. I'm gonna sit on my money. <sighs> all set. Uh, all right. So that's exciting. I feel like I actually know enough about the game now to actually make decisions that aren't totally random. Which is shocking when I think about it, because if you'll recall when I first started, I was like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> so like, it's a lot of foes. I wonder what's gonna happen when I hit 10,000 foes. If like, Skelly's just gonna like descend from the ceiling and be like, yo, good job, pal. And then just like, go back up to the ceiling and you're like, okay. <laughs> I, oh my God, Aries. Aries should totally send me a thank you card. I will have sassy things to say at him. He could like send me like a present. I'm going gargle bargle mig Aries. Alright. Look what they did to your pink window, pal. Excuse me, what? Exit. That's a pact of punishment. What? I'm sorry, Zagreus. Let me see. Let me see if Zagreus has anything new to say about this. Hold on. No. He's just quiet and brooding. <sighs> oh, man. Okay, folks. As always, remember, do not spoil things if you can help it. Cole, you drew me? Thank you. I don't know Homestuck characters, so I don't I don't I don't know that I would recognize it if you showed it to me, but that's really cool. Thank you. Thank you. I will look forward to checking that out after stream. Yeah, if anybody is not on the Discord and wants to join the Discord, we have a channel where you can post creative stuff you've worked on, like artwork or music or stories or whatever. Um, so it's a great way to share things that you've worked on. Um you can also share photos of your animals and animal talk and you can you can show us what you've been cooking and food and other fun places too. <laughs> oh, all right. Okay. So Finally, I, I did wear this. I think I wore this for a little while. Just yeah, I did. Look at that. I totally did. Just because it felt like the right thing to do. Notice though, like this empty slot, is this going to be Persephone? At this point, I have no idea who else it could be. And I've seen Persephone. It seems likely why I would need to deepen my relationship. I mean, I guess, I guess as much as she's my mother, I've never met her before. Oh my God, Zagreus being like, I think you might be my mother. Just like, oh my God, he's so cute and so sweet and so polite. And I just want to give that boy a hug. Sean, thank you for the raid, Sean. Um, let's see. Oh, and then there's this. Whatever this is. I don't even know, man. I don't even know what this could possibly be. I'm curious. But there's hearts on them, which makes me wonder, like, is this, like, gonna be, like, a dating game? Do I get to pick my boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever? Secrets. I love that Zeus's ring is, like, a class ring. Like, he's, like, a frat boy. I mean, I'm sure that's not actually what they're going for, but that's how I choose to interpret it, because Zeus. Um, conk shell. Owl pendant makes sense. An eternal rose. You gotta say that as dramatically and self-importantly as possible. Blood-filled vial. Charming. Stubborn and determined. That's my girl. And Dionysus' cup overflows for everyone, because he is a good and generous friend. And, uh, this, I'm really curious 
Why is the fiery feather Hermes? I mean, why is, why? I don't know. I'm really, really curious though. I want to know all about Hermes. I wonder if, if, if Demeter, I'm going to go ahead and go back to calling her Demeter, if you don't mind, if she will wind up in one of her other forms, if we can ever convince her to maybe stop freezing everything. So, oh good, Chrono. Well, I'm glad to know that we've got that <laughs> going on. Oh man, I didn't even go into chaos when I was like talking about stuff. I didn't even talk about chaos, man. I don't, I don't know. That's what I got about chaos. I don't know. <laughs> this Demeter has no chill. The shattered shackle, there's, that's very symbolic. The evergreen acorn, broken spear point. It's just, all of these are just beautiful. They, they have meaning. Like with all of these, I know what the significance of them is. And like with some of these, like, I don't know. Anyway, what am I gonna, what am I gonna use? Am I gonna go back to Meg's thing? I don't know, I don't, I don't know. Am I gonna do what everyone else does? <laughs> I wanna, I wanna, I'm gonna go ahead and level this up. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, switch weapons. And then we're gonna go talk to Skelly and see what he's got to say. So what exactly happened with the formerly pink window over there? Now it's got these sinister orange flames and an enormous pact of punishment hanging ominously over the exit. Father stopped by. <laughs> Love the way he describes that. Pal, I don't know a thing about it, honest. I was just minding my own business when all of a sudden, wham, I get hit right in the back. I fall to pieces, no idea what's going on. When I finally come to, the window job was done. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know, Skelly. As oh. likely an explanation as any, I guess. I don't know if I believe that. I almost felt that. <laughs> oh, that's right! I get to be the Blender Ballerina. Okay, so I can summon it without having to trade places with it. But I can summon it and then trade places with it. You call that a hit? Oh shush, Skelly. Oh my god. He doesn't have any health left. Be right back. There we go. Alright, folks. <sighs> Anyways. <laughs> Thanks, Skelly. Love you too, buddy. Okay. Um yeah, that definitely looks like Dad has gotten into the paperwork. It's very ominous feeling and sounding. Can I, like, just, like, shoot it down? Like, just, like, knock it off of that? Maybe? I don't think I'm going to like this. I do actually wonder, sometimes when you go to, like, Rizu, like, when you go to a next run, like, you see, like, Hades looking disapprovingly, and it has, like, one, like, word. It's, like, an insult, and then he, like, says something to insult his son. Prepare. Prepare. That's not what it was before. It was escape before. Do I have to get through a thing to even get there? Looks like father's changed the terms of our relationship. <sighs> Congratulations. Your deeds have compelled Lord Hades to serve you a pact of punishment. The pact can make escaping more difficult via various nasty conditions. Each condition you accept adds some heat to your heat gauge. While your heat gauge is full, you can earn valuable bounties. Oh no. You earn one bounty the first time you vanquish the boss of each underworld reason while your heat gauge is full. Once you successfully escape, you can earn more bounties if you turn up the heat. Okay, so like... My general policy on these things is just to never touch them. Just saying. I'm gonna close my window because there keep being beepings downstairs and I don't like them. That's better. Sorry about that, folks. <laughs> 
No, that was my outside, not your outside. Space time is making this happen. All right, folks. That well, was one hour. We're about to do our first run. <laughs> no, 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 girl. I know that I, as I'm saying, like, normally my policy would be no. However, however, because this is Hades, I suspect that there are going to be things that are locked behind this and I'm going to want them. Also, <sighs> all right, I do like the descriptions here. Oh my God, hard labor, foes do more damage, lasting consequences, health effects restore less, convenience fee, things are more expensive. Wow, that's a lot. Jury summons, <laughs> more enemies. Each underworld region's bosses gains new te gains new techniques. One region per rank, starting with Tartarus and then going. Oh wow! <sighs> cool. Calisthenics program. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, everything has more health. Benefits package. Perks. Dangerous traits that vary per encounter. Wow, they've got a lot of stuff here. Middle management. Oh my god. Okay. I just have to say the fact that a lot of this is this is all bureaucracy. Like all of the things that are happening well not all of them, but a lot of them have to do with bureaucracy or like bad bosses or both. And that's hilarious because paperwork is the true final boss in Hades. <laughs> okay, mini boss has an extra heart or some additional problem. Underworld customs. You gotta purge a boon to unlock it. Interesting. Forced overtime. Hold on, sorry. Something is making noise that shouldn't be making noise. Let me close that before it makes noise. Again. Okay. It should not make noise again. All right. <laughs> Petty bureaucrat. All right. Everybody else is faster. <laughs> Given my tendency to randomly step into lava, I should probably not take this one. <laughs> Routine inspection. <laughs> it's a broken mirror. Huh. That's interesting. Damage control. Okay. So the foes have a have a first hit does nothing thing going on. Approval process. It's a trash can. <laughs> it's a trash can. Fewer choices when offered boons, items or upgrades. One hmm. Tight deadline. Why does that one only give you one? That's insane. Okay, this is for speed running. Speed running. Speed runners. Running speeds. Um, they do more damage. I mean... Oh, this gives you new things. It's gonna, like, bosses are gonna do that too, though. Blowing out the heat gauge isn't going to do me any favors here. Okay, that's good to know. Thank you. Zagreus is here to explain this to me. All right. Restore less life. Prices are higher. There's more enemies in standard encounters. We're going to go with that one. Sure. Let's see what happens. Okay. All right. Infernal contract void for eternity, valid for eternity in the underworld of Hades. Excellent, amazing. Okay, let's try this and see Witches what happens. Of the underworld, take heed. Take heed. Prophecy foretold. I don't know what that was, but. All right, uncle. Old Hades has continued to ignore my every effort to reach out to him, young man. Oh, well, but he is obstinate indeed. You are wise to seek your family's better half. I mean... 
Zeus, you don't know that I'm looking for my mom, but I guess the better family. I love how Zeus is pinning this on Hades completely. Because he knows that Zagreus doesn't like Hades and that Zagreus has problems with Hades. So the best way to, like, he, this is a very easy, manipulative way of being like, we're friends, we're pals, we're allies, we're on the same side, my, my buddy, my pal. I, uh, like, uh, like, being like, being like, well, you don't like him. So, like, obviously, Zagreus isn't going to confirm with Hades anything that Zeus says. So Zeus can claim whatever he wants. So Zeus is like, Zeus is like, I am a wonderful brother. I just want to be, and I want to help. I want to connect. I'm doing everything right, but you know how he is. It's all on him. So I don't think that's correct. Uh, ooh, I do like chain lightning. Sure. The might of the heavens. Okay. Well. Okay. I have dice that show up. I can roll a dice. Farewell. Oh my god. Amazing. Amazing. All right, so far, this is the easy part of the game. It could be worse. Sure. <laughs> he sounds a little bit nervous. I'm sorry, friend. Yes, no, that is true, Cole. I think that I think that that is what Zeus is counting on. I think Zeus thinks that he can win. Like they all think that they can win me over. Like they're all not all, but a number of them are trying to. Oops. trying to use him. Over there. All right. All right. My life has gone up. Hmm. Yeah, notice I'm actually using my blob with some regularity now, folks. Oh, the music is faster in here, I think. Is it- does the music go fast? Oops! Oops! Good job, Lauren. I'm just gonna blow everything up with the blob. I, I think that's what we're gonna do. He doesn't have much to say right now. Zagreus, honey, are you feeling alright? I'm seeing like, only like a single thing instead of branching paths. That's interesting. Oh, well, I am getting health. Oops. Oh gosh, no. Oh my God, that's more like it. That's my boy. Okay, Lauren, calm down. Calm down. <sighs> I hear you there, Grand Progenitor. Hi, Grandma. My foster brother's wayward son appears. I too once lost a child, Sagrius. I was quite foolish with her from the start. Her father was a baseborn farm boy, worshipped me. He's gone as well, of course. Only the cold remains. I was quite foolish with her from the start. Demeter's thing here is that she wasn't strict enough with Persephone, so that she let her get used to being a headstrong girl, I bet. Oh, Demeter. Oh, Demeter, you just... Hmm... All right. Her father was a baseborn farm boy. Look at how incredibly, incredibly, like, <sighs> condescending isn't the right word. Classist isn't the right word, but there's, there is a word and I can't think of what it is, but 
Demeter is not her best self right now. I can only hope. No, it's not aloof. It, yeah, I think dismissive. But it's like more like not just dismissive, but it's like straight up insulting. You're like 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 oh he's not worth anything. It's like that's your. No, it's the thing. The thing is, it's using the word baseborn. It's it's she's 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 judging and 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 finding this this oh, this baseborn mortal is like nothing, um, which is which is really. It's not even patronizing exactly, because patronizing specifically is kind of like, oh, you sweet baby. Like patronizing is like when you're talking down to someone. Um, there's, there's something about this, like I guess elitist maybe is the right word actually, um, Doctor Sweets. I think I think she's being very very elitist here. Um, well, no, but like, but like, this is her daughter's father that we're talking about, and to be like that. You know, like that says something about her. Like, yes, she's a literal god. Like, like when he, when she says he's gone as well, of course, she sounds sad and she is sad. But the way that she talks about him is not like gods have affairs with mortals a lot. Um, but uh, like. I wasn't expecting her to say this about her beloved daughter's father. Like, I'm like, kind of like, no wonder Persephone doesn't like you. <laughs> it's kind of, I think that's the mindset I'm approaching this from. But it's also possible that Demeter has made herself cold in her anger. And so maybe she's not always this bad. But when she's like, I was quite foolish with her from the start. Like, like the fact that she, cause she's like, I once, I once lost a child. Like, Maybe this is because of the delivery and because she's all like, I am the queen of everything and I'm so amazing and wonderful and everybody else is bad. <laughs> Which is very much like how she talks. Like she very much does not consider anyone else worth her time. And nobody else's pain matters. Nobody else understands. Nobody else is worth anything. Um, we don't know Jando. We don't know what happened, what she thinks happened to Persephone. She says Persephone's lost, um, but we don't know specifically what that means. I'm gonna take my um, my belly. My, we'll see. I'll leave the laurel crown on. We'll see how far I how far I get this time. Yeah. So Blue Glass, her delivery had the sadness in those two last lines, which makes me wonder again. Maybe she has frozen her heart, uh, so to speak, in order to be able to sort of manage her grief, and that has made her cruel. Um. Yeah, and it is possibly that her pride is wounded instead. Like, there's there's a lot of things that could be going on here, and I don't know her well enough to know. Um, I don't know what she is like when she's not in her cold aspect, in her winter aspect. So I am curious, and I'm interested. Um, but yeah, so the last the last two lines, like I said, were sad. But the 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 I was quite foolish with her from the start, and her father was a baseborn farm boy, worshipped me, like. Both of those do not sound like they are coming from a place of goodness, if that makes sense. So I'm curious, and I'm going to be judging her, because um, she has the same color green eyes, I think, as they do. Um, but because I'm inclined to trust Persephone, I have no reason not to trust Persephone. Um, and Persephone is very upset with the Olympians. I would not be surprised if her mother is part of that. So we'll see. I really don't know, but this is very interesting. <laughs> and I do kind of wonder if Persephone ran away from her and she knew Persephone was running away from her. What does she think about Zagreus running towards her as somebody else's child running away? You know, I don't know, because of course she doesn't realize that I am, in fact, her, her daughter's kid. Yeah, it may, maybe baseborn isn't necessarily a judgmental thing, but I'm inclined to take it that way because of her saying that she was foolish with her daughter from the start. Um, hold on, let me see if Sophie's out there. I heard a kitten. Oh, okay. Did not hear a kitten. All right. So, but so this is interesting. I freely admit, I freely admit that I have a bias right now, which is currently going to be an anti-Demeter bias and a pro-Persephone bias. So if it seems as though Demeter is like, I should have been harsher with my daughter to keep her with me doesn't work that way doesn't work that way by the way if any of your parents don't do that <sighs> only the cold remains though actually that does make it sound like 
She's frozen her heart. She has nothing but cold left. And because she is cold and hopeless and depressed and everything, the whole world will feel what she feels. Okay, yeah. That's a lot of damage plus. Hmm. Your call creates a winter vortex. I'm gonna wait, but I'm gonna take this one. Oh, oh, oh! I don't even care how much damage it does. If you think I'm not gonna ask Chaos what they think of the fact that I went to go see Persephone at the first possible opportunity, you don't know me. <laughs> yeah, no, it is true, Zio, that it is not clear whether foolish means that she, like, what exactly she means. But, but either way, like, it, it, it does not come across as something that I'm inclined to be uh, generous and, and, and assume the best, you know? We'll see. I, I could very well be wrong, and I'm freely willing to admit that I might be wrong. All right. Ooh. Wow. Actually, hold on. Hold on. Everything's... The tone of his voice is different. He's giving me single word things. He's saying single word responses that are very... His heart's not in it. In what he's saying, I mean. Sagrius took all of that very hard. I think that that's reasonable. Actually, that's a really neat touch. Because it's noticeable. It's so, so incredibly noticeable. Because Zagreus does talk a lot. He talks a whole lot. And so when Zagreus all of a sudden isn't talking a lot, you notice. Like, it didn't take very long. It took him, like... It took, like, what, two rooms? It took him commenting three times. Like, the second time he said something, I commented on it. And the third time, I was like, wait... <laughs> Because it's so very clearly... So that's intentional. They changed his options. They, they, they changed the pool of things that he says. So when I was like, I'm going to go brood over there. Are you going to say something broody? Like, no. He's not even going to brood. Like, that's not that we ran out of things to say. Zagreus has nothing to say. And, uh... And, like, alright. Okay. Fine. Like... It tells you something about his state of mind without having to tell you about his state of mind. It's good writing. And I imagine, like, even if you're not paying super close attention to everything, you'll still figure it out because he, again, he does talk a lot. He is very distinctive. I'm going to try to pay attention more to what he says throughout the rest of this run, too, but I'm pretty sure that that's intentional. They've flipped a switch to be the, like... Zagreus is processing the experience of meeting his mother and then dying, you know? Like, that's definitely something you talk about in therapy. All right, Chaos. <laughs> this is the best possible thing. Oh my god. So, as I have just finished saying, Zagreus is clearly taking it pretty hard. He escaped. He met his mother. He died. Chaos can kind of see what's going on, sort of. The chaos is just like... Like, just this, the absurdity of, like, like, depressed, wounded, unsure Zagreus coming down to chaos, the all-powerful, sort of all-knowing entity outside of time and space. And chaos is like, man, how on earth did you go fishing here? That's cool. You should do that some more. <laughs> it's just really, really cute. Yes, as I have said, Zagreus is having an existential crisis and Chaos is like, cool fish, bruh. Uh, no, 
it it fits chaos. That's the thing is it fits chaos. The the incredible level of disconnect feels deeply in character. And it's awesome because normally in in a normal run I would be absolutely delighted by this because I really love chaos kind of being like, "Oh, how cute." He's coming to hang out here. What a precious child. Here's a lollipop or things to smash. You know, same difference. So, so chaos is just like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. The the little the little tiny godling is fishing. He's fishing. Oh my god, he's fishing. That's the cutest thing. Like when they say, I shall look forward to the to your subsequent attempts. Like they don't look up. To, they don't look forward to things much. Like they're like this is like. This is like delight and joy, and like I just I love them being like, oh, it's Agrius. He's come to hang out. Like just, I love I love that interpretation of this relationship. I think it's really cute and works. So that would normally be what I would react to this, but the fact that like chaos is just talking about the least significant thing that they could talk about. Like sometimes they'll talk about the Olympians, which would be relevant. Sometimes they'll talk about Nyx. Which might be relevant. Sometimes they'll talk about like Hades, or like darkness, or like the universe, which could potentially be relevant, or at least be like emotionally like on level with like the significance of it. But instead, they're talking about fishing, and I, I do think that they should have a have a have a fish shirt. <laughs> I would like to see, or a hat. I guess it's a hat, isn't it? Usually a hat. Somebody should draw chaos with the fishing hat. I was excited about fishing in Chaos's realm. <laughs> I'm glad Chaos was excited too. <sighs> but no, but Chaos needs Chaos needs a fishing hat with Zagreus. And they need to like maybe Zagreus can be trying to teach Chaos how to fish. I don't know. I want this fan art to exist. Anyway, that's adorable. And the fact that it like so incredibly doesn't fit the tone of what's been happening or where Zagreus is just spectacular. A sparrow! Thank you for following. Thank you. Oh man, Pranic Lift. Yes, I've putting put a fishing hat on like every thing that could be a head. But what do you call like this like half face where it's just this much face, like here? Like in the I'm pointing at the screen so you can see me pointing at the screen. Like like I guess you could still put a hat like on the no I don't know. I should probably not think too much about Chaos's anatomy. Oh, let's just do this one. Just don't special Lauren. Do they usually talk there? I think usually Sagrius comments on things, but they spoke instead. I don't want this to be an Aphrodite run, but sure. Let's give it a try. We haven't gotten any other boons, so might as well. Oh my god! Zagreus, honey! Zagreus, honey. Wow. Wow. Okay, I have to say, I have to say, I feel like that was the most in keeping with Zagreus's um, emotions that I could have possibly done with that fight. Just, just poke it, just poke it repeatedly with the stick without doing anything else until it stops moving. Yes, no, not even chaos can stop Zagreus from talking. Only emotional turmoil can do that. Man, same, Zagreus. Kinda. <sighs> All right, let's see what she's got to offer. You met Achilles after all, Goblin. He was quite instrumental in the war of my design. Still, he resisted my attempts to sway his actions. You tell him simply, I admire him. I'm sure he'll be very impressed, Aphrodite. You're not his type. 
Oh, I guess I have to take this. What does charm do? Fights for you, but I bet that won't work on a boss bullet. Oh, but I do need it. Whatever. Okay, fine. It's destiny. Heartbreak time. <laughs> All right, a little, 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 little bit, just, just a little bit, a little bit. Also, notice like there's like, I'm not getting any choices. Did I, I'm gonna have to take a look. Maybe I did something with a mirror. But like, yeah, like there's like heartbreaker, heartbreak time. Yeah, like there's like a little bit, like even depressed, he still snarks a little bit. Just a slightly different flavor of snark. Just a slightly different variety of snark. I love him and I'm sorry that he's sad. Oh my god! Oh my god, Zagreus, honey! Where are they? There they are, they're coming. Oh my god! He. Wow! He is not a happy camper, my goodness! My goodness! Honey! I'm sorry, folks, but like. It's really noticeable. Yeah, I don't get any paths. That's interesting. I'm curious about that. Oh, fishing. We're going to go fishing. Oh, that was exciting. There really are definitely a lot more enemies. Oops. This time around. Oh, there's there are choices. From Master Chaos has evolved. Okay. Oh, and my skull earring leveled up. Thanks, Meg. Let's go fishing. What, what do you what do you offer me? I don't think I care about that this run. I mean, I'll get some health, but not much from it. I don't know. Um, let's let's fish. Come forth, fishes. Oh, it was Agrius. Now. He caught it. Knucklehead. <laughs> Even depression can't take away the joy of fishing for Zagreus. <laughs> That's adorable. Oh my God. I love him. Oh, whatever, Dad. You're out well past your curfew, boy. Oh my God, shut up, Dad. I like. I'm trapped. No, you're fine, Zagreus. We've done this before. We're gonna do this again. Jeez. Don't die, Lauren. Don't die. Oh my god, I'm dying. Don't die. Don't die. Hide. Just hide. Hide. No! 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 Oh my god. Oh my god, there's so Utterly many. So many enemies. Shut up, Dad. Nobody likes you. I mean, it like literally nobody likes you, except maybe Mom, apparently. I forgot I have the blender. I should probably use the blender. All right. I need to use the blender. That's a lot of damage. Okay. Extra pointy. <laughs> Oh my god! They recorded they recorded a whole lot of depressed Zagreus lines for everything. So he's still a little bit sassy, but he's not quite right, you know, like it's not quite he's not quite himself. You wretches. Oh my god, he sounds really mad. Next round, where are you? There you are. There you are. Where are 
see you. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot! Oh my god, like, yeah, his, 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 his lines are so short. Like, he says, like, the shortest possible number of words. Like, it's really remarkable. It's really interesting. Someone's going to enjoy this. <laughs> A little bit less there. Oh, Zagreus, honey. I'm so I sorry. Oh, so I do have options. And he's talking a little bit more. A little bit more. Yeah, I took on I took on more enemies. That's the heat that I've got. Oh, hold on. Oh, I need to hold on. Sorry, folks. No, no. Sorry. Is this thing in the way? This right here. The lore runs thing. Is it blocking things? Do I need to get rid of it? I can turn it off for now. There we go. Oh, okay. All right. As I put it there, so I wouldn't get. Oh yeah, do I want a palm? Palm, pa palm, palm. Palm, pa palm, palm, palm. It was blocking the heat thing. Was the thing it was doing? Do I want a palm, or do I want life? Hmm, this is a good question. Um, what have I got? I'm gonna go with life. I think. Let's see how this goes. Oh no, will you stop that, you butts! Oh, okay, let's get those before the next round comes. Nope, 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 nope! Oh my god, I need to remember that I have more buttons than just attack and blob. Shockingly, blob is one of the buttons that I know exists. Uh, hi! Yes, I... They gave me the option and I wanted to see what it did, so I'm doing it. Zagreus is sad. He's very sad. He's giving, like, one or two word responses to things. This is as somebody who is, speaks as much as Zagreus does. I feel that this says a lot. If you're ever talking to Lauren and I give you one or two word responses, something is up. <sighs> Just in case you couldn't tell that that would be the case. It is true. My goodness. Oh, high heat runs. Okay. Well, we'll see how I do with a low heat run. All right. Do I want to go shopping? Yeah, I've got some money. I get a boon. And health recovery would be nice. Oh! Kieran's shop. Hello. Um. Oh, wow. That did a lot of damage. Okay, hold on. Oh, right. Okay. Oh, look at that. They're like, hey, did you want some money? And I'm like, sure. Why am I? Oh. Okay. I need to remember this. I need to remember I have that. Not that I'll be using that against her, but... Hi, Hermes. My heavy breathing professional associate was gracious enough to drop me off here with his other stuff and for quite an affordable <laughs> price at that. Thanks, Hermes. I just move faster in general. Never enough. Zagreus doesn't even try talking to him. Actually, I wonder. I mean, this isn't what I was gonna do, but. Glad you like it, mate. Thank <laughs> you for helping me out with your supply, even if you fleece me with those prices. <laughs> That's true. Actually, I wonder if he does different things um, based on where he is when you give him that. Like, if you give that to him in sticks if he i don't know that anything would be different i don't know he doesn't really say much so all right are you ready to go die to whichever sister it is oh no golden fleece him oh no oh no no girl oh no <sighs> all right fury sister coming up oh geez well, this oh is good okay i heard that you escaped 
Then what are you still doing Shut here? Up, Forget something along the way. Oh, she's better. You know, I think I'd rather fight you to the death again oh. than try to answer either of those questions right oh. now. Oh. I don't know what you're up to, Zagreus, but I guess it doesn't matter either way. All that matters is you're not getting past me. So Meg did have one valid thing that she mentioned earlier. Yes, those electric guitars. And that's not the valid thing about Meg, although I'm not gonna lie, electric guitars are good. But what I was going to say before the electric guitars kicked in is that Meg was like, basically like, if you do this, all of the rest of us get punished for it. And that is something that we should address. That is a valid thing. But also like, like abusers, it's not, you don't have to allow your, you don't have to continue to allow yourself to be abused so that other people don't get abused. Unless they get something complicated where they are dependent on you, such as if you are a parent and they are your children, and you leave, and you abandon your children to an abuser, that is one case in which I would judge somebody for going away. Unless there is no alternative and they are doing that so that they can, and that is the only way that they can get in a position where they can rescue the children. Um, so there are, I guess, are exceptions even then. But that is one thing where I'm like, maybe that is not good. Uh, I know somebody who did that, um, and did feelings. Um, not the good scenario, but the bad one. Um, but, uh, but, uh, but otherwise, like, like, Zagreus has the right to remove himself from an abusive situation. Even if his absence leads Hades to hurt everybody else more. It's complicated, especially if you care about the people that you are leaving behind. And abusers will absolutely do that. That's one of the ways when it's like, why didn't that person just leave? Well, because, because the abuser threatened someone important to them if they did. And that is, that is a thing that, that's valid. Um, and that's why it's so important to, to try to be a support network for people in positions like that. Because things are complicated and it's not easy. And the more resources that somebody in a situation like that has to help them get out of it, the more likely that they will be able to get out of it without anyone else getting hurt. But it is complicated. And I really, like, I... I I can understand where Meg would be coming from in that case. Um, and obviously, of course, I don't know that Hades, as boss slash father in the game Hades, is meant to be read as an abuser so that I can then make these direct comparisons. But whatever I see the comparisons, I'm going to make the comparisons and I'm going to talk about that. Because that's what I do, folks. Yeah. Anyway. Video games. We're gonna play video game now. <laughs> ah. Oh no, what if I don't? Oh my god, Meg. Oh wait. Oh. Oh. Wait, she's... she looks different. She's all blue now. She looks different. She's moving differently. Oh, jeez. Can I just hide behind here? To a certain degree, I can, yes. No! Stop that! Oh, I forgot that I had blobs. Stop that. Okay. Oops, I ran literally right into that. Jeez. I knew that was gonna happen. Oh, jeez, yeah, she's doing different moves. Oof. I should have waited on that. Did she? Oh my god, she confused. She did it on herself! <laughs> <laughs> Blood and 
Oh, she sounded really sad there. Sorry, yes. Meg. Oh, it's all glowy and special. I guess, I guess you get more of these if you do a heat round or something like that. Got my bob. Could have gone better. Could have gone worse. Ah, <sighs> that was great. Apparently, you can totally charm the enemy. I'll take it. Aratha shuddered just now. Yeah, that's a little concerning. The weapons are a little scary in this game. Not gonna lie. All right. Let's go up. See how this is. Well, father. Oh my god, I was literally about to say well, dad. <laughs> but he said it before I could. <laughs> like you saw me open my mouth about to say it. Zagreus, honey, we gotta stop doing this. All right, what's in the shop? Uh, random item could be a death defiance. What do we think? What are we thinking? What are we thinking? Well, Maybe I should switch. That's a good question. And whatever this is, is something that you can do in the middle of a run that's interesting. Let's see. No, I, I actually really like it. I'm gonna go with it. Alright, let's just let's just we're just we're just gonna do this. Let's just gonna do this. Let's just let's just do this. Heading up. Alright. Check. Alright. Got anything to say? Any brooding? No. He's not saying. I know anything. you're out there, mother. Yeah, now he's oh, yeah, yeah. He sounds like sad but not hopeless there. Good. He's such a good boy. He deserves to be happy. Yes, the Final Fantasy V Pixel Remaster is out. I need to try to finish the first full chapter so I can release like for the prologue in the first chapter of Darkness and Starlight before the Final Fantasy VI Pixel Remaster comes out. So hopefully that'll come. Um, yeah, um, I'm really interested in the fact that, because you, you can't charm bosses in most games, they're impervious to that kind of status effect. So, more Zeus, huh? Not necessarily what I would have chosen, but you know, you do you. Oh my god. Wait. Oh, good lava. Not actually oh, good lava, by the way. Olympus, I accept this message. Okay. Oh, wow. These are all epic. That sounds really good. Your lightning effects also make pose jolted. That sounds good. Oh yeah, that sounds good. We'll do that. Oh, it sounds like there's multiple. Okay, multiple paths. We've got, oh, oh, multiple, multiple paths. Wow. It's like they're making up for the fact that there weren't any paths at all in Tartarus most of the time. Sorry, I've got to look and see if there's any more monies, <sighs> darknesses. I don't know that I care about darknesses in this run. Because I could just get darkness there. Don't think I have any need for keys. Go go away, you. What are you doing? You're really weird looking. I don't know that I approve of you being there. Uh, let's go get darkness. Because I think that's the only one of these that's useful right now. <laughs> this is the game that lets you get bosses drunk. I suppose, but... Come on, let's fight. Oh my god, Zagreus! Like I could put together a bunch of adjectives to describe how he how he must be feeling based on how he sounds. Easy. Oops, why did I step in the fire? I should not have stepped in the fire. I'm just gonna get the monies. Oh. 
do. Okay. All right. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. No, I love the slight change to his personality in the way that it's, or at least the way that he's coming through. Like, obviously, he's got the same personality, personality, but you, you know what I mean. You know what I mean, right? You know what I mean. The, he, he. There's, there's, there's a different character to the way he talks, like so, so thoroughly. It's very interesting, I think. And given how much his like way of talking is part of the experience of playing this game, you know. See what happens. He is definitely having a mood. Which is so cool. God, will you stop that? Oh my God, get out of the fire, Lauren. Get out of the fire. That is not where you're supposed to be. Don't be in the fire. Generally speaking, don't be in the fire. Let's do this again sometime, all right? <sighs> all right, see, he's still got stuff, though. Hades. It's only he stops being himself. Special deals more damage. And your dash deals damage. Special deals more damage and inflicts weak. Your dash deals damage when you end up that... Well, no, no, we'll leave Dash open in case we come across Athena. I now know. I now know I have learned. I have learned why everyone else feels that way all the time about everything. Oh, I guess that didn't go too badly. I kept running into lava. <laughs> I guess I didn't sustain too much damage, huh? huh? I mean, he does need a sandwich and a nap. Maybe he can talk. Maybe we're going to run into a friend. Like, maybe you're gonna see, will show up and be like, You need a sandwich and a nap, kiddo. Your Odyssey really reminds me of a character that I wrote in stories. Um... Get dead. <laughs> oh my god, Zagreus. That Zagreus is equivalent to being an edgelord. Oh my god. Oh my god, this does leave a lot of enemies. Oh jeez, will you stop that? I didn't realize that you guys were here. This is the worst. Oh no, there's fire now. I don't want there to be fire. I need to use more than just my... I, I need to use my special attack. Oh wait, hold on. Oh, that's fishing. That's fishing. That's fishing. That's fishing. I know what that sounds like. That means that I'm going to go fishing in some fire. What lurks in the river Phlegathon. Naturally. Right there. Yes. Another slot bug. Yes. <laughs> okay. Hold on. He sounds so pleased. The fishing does seem to make him feel better. Maybe chaos was onto something there. Oh, oh Zagreus. Zagreus, honey. He's so great. Am I a fish inspector? Maybe so. Maybe so. Sorry, I realize I'm not on the camera properly. Oops! I did that wrong. Oops, that was bad. I did that wrong. Oh, that's right! They're gonna be slower if they have the thing in them. And do less damage. So if you're like, this one is really bad. Oh, the reason why they're blue is because of grandma. That's why. Oops. Has to be the last of this. God, there's so many of them.
I'm remembering that I have that and trying to remind myself of how to use it. Oh my god, will you stop that? Oh my god, that's so many explosions. Oh my god, you just said okay. Oh my god, Sagrius. Sagrius, honey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I let you take damage. I'm sorry, friend. Please forgive me. Will you forgive me, Zagreus? I'm sorry for letting you get hurt. I'm sorry I couldn't rescue your mom. <sighs> you know? Hit the spot. <laughs> like, he says the same lines in some case, but he says them with a different tone. I wonder how long he's going to be like this. Vivid Valkyrie, thank you for following. <sighs> Alright, so we could go shopping and try to get that Death Defiance back. Or we could get another boon. <laughs> Eat the berries. <laughs> yeah, Vivid, Vivid Valkyrie is a good name. It's it's a pretty name. I like Valkyries. I think they are interesting characters. Oh, fishing. Did I hear fishing? I thought I heard fishing. Maybe I didn't hear fishing. No. No, I didn't. This is what would have been shopping. But it's not shopping. But it is, in fact, Poseidon. All right, Poseidon, what's up, friend? Oh, so you've already heard from Aphrodite, have you, nephew? Understandable. But first things first, <laughs> now let me add a little something to all that. All right, Poseidon. Oh, that's neat. Let's do it. Might of the sea. Mash it as much as you can. Let's do it. See how we do just do maximum damage. Or try to. Bone Hydra. It's been too long. <laughs> even 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 a sad and depressed Zagreus. He did he did tell me it was the first ten seconds. I had to do that damage, you know how it is. Oh shoot, I'm never gonna get this back, am I? Oh we know they did come back out eventually, okay cool. Oops! Okay, give me my ball back. Okay. Wait for you. Jeez, there's a that's a lot of lava. Oops. Okay, so that means your stupid children are coming. I'm sorry, folks. I know that I talk about the stupid children every time. And I feel like I should maybe have another like fun and clever line that I say, but I, I don't. Oop. Let's not get in the fire, Lauren. Oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. Oh, oh, I don't have any of my blobs. They're all in there. Oh, there's my blobs. Hold on, I gotta get my blobs. Okay. There's so many of you. Hold on. No, no, no. Okay, hold on. No, no, no. No, no. No, no. No, 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 no. 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 No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Okay, hold on. Oh, jeez. Hold on. I don't even know what happened. Did it damage itself that whole time? A diamond. Okay. I'm not quite sure what she did to it, but I guess she made it blow itself up. Thanks, Aphrodite. You sure are good at destroying everyone that partners with you. <sighs> it did 2,500 damage. Oh. Okay. Yes, yeah, the thing is, I was like, I didn't think it was that close to dying, but it died. Wow. Okay. Okay, that's why I didn't think she was that low. I didn't think, wait. Aphrodite is, the, like, 
Aphrodite truly is the most destructive of them all. All right. Well, that's that sure is a thing that just happened. I want to swear about Aphrodite, but I'm not going to. Just know that in my heart, I'm thinking it. <laughs> this is why I'm never going to find a girlfriend. Um, yeah. So, that was interesting. Like, I feel like... How much health do I have? Wait, wait, there we go. I'm doing okay. My heart explode. Yes, their heart explode. <sighs> I think I did pretty well. <laughs> Thanks, Pranicliffed. <clears throat> By the way, I was, I think, just going into the boss fight or just going into a fight that I was having trouble with. I don't remember if it was the boss fight or the room before that. But Vivid Valkyrie, I think you said this is your first time catching a live stream. Welcome. Thank you for joining us live. I hope you have fun um, hanging around. Um, <laughs> Right now, if you came in like relatively late, so you missed the first part of the stream, and for anyone who might be joining us later on, the first like hour is just me talking. But then we started playing the stream. But one of the things that's really stood out to me in this run is because this is my first run after getting up to um, to uh, to Persephone, and Zagreus's tone of voice and the way he speaks, the things he says or doesn't say in this run, compared to his entire rest of the game. Um, has been really well done. Like, it communicates so much. Nobody's like, gosh, Zag, you sure look like you're feeling down, man. But, like, we know, you know? And if you do a good job with characterization, you don't have to have that. And they gave him such a strong personality to begin with. <clears throat> Thank you, Blue Glass. I wasn't sure if I did a good job on it or not, but I feel like I'm understanding. I feel like I'm taking to the strategy of whatever particular build, loadout, kit that I have um, faster than I have in the past. I spent the first like 20 something runs at least, like basically picking things at random and having no idea how anything worked. So, uh. So I feel like I've definitely crossed a threshold of like now I actually can understand the game. Whereas the majority of like the first while that I played the game, I like really did not know. Like when people are like, what's your favorite weapon? And I was like, I have no idea. They're like, oh, I love that boon. And I'm like, I have no idea. I don't know what boons are available. I don't know how they work. I don't know how to judge or figure that sort of thing out. Um, and now I finally have some some sense of those things which really makes a difference and i kind of wonder if people had forgotten what it was like to start the game because they've been playing through it so much because people spent a lot of time playing this game because it's great um or if maybe like i am more easily overwhelmed at the beginning and have a harder time making sense of strategy and things like that than the average person um to start with so maybe most people figure it out a little faster than i did but then i caught up and now i get it i don't know Thank you, Miscellaneous. I really wasn't sure that was fast. Was that fast? Cool. Speed running Lauren. <laughs> no, I'm going to sabotage my own speed runs by talking too much. Clearly what needs to happen is we need to have a very sad and disappointed Lauren who just says one or two words at a time and speed runs. That's the answer. It's to make me be sad like Zagri is. And then, I don't know. Maybe then I'll just do it out of spite. Nothing but spite. See, I never figured out the, a few strategies that worked for me. Like, the thing is, I never had strategies. I just kind of did whatever, especially because I was only using two of the buttons. And occasionally I'd remember call existed, you know? Which was necessary for me to be able to understand anything about how to play the game. I had to kind of step my way up, which is one of the things that's interesting playing Horizon Zero Dawn, and I'm very early on there, but there's all this stuff to do. And I'm like, all right, so what am I going to cut out of? Like, what am I not going to even pay any attention to so that I don't feel overwhelmed? Because that does actually work for me. Because by now, I actually know how these other things work, and now I can start adding the blob. But if I had tried to add the blob from the beginning, it would have been a hot mess. So, I kind of know what I'm doing with that. Interesting. Okay, well, now I have learned that Aphrodite's call is good. Is that enough for me to actually want to get Aphrodite more often? No. <laughs> But it's good to know that if I wind up having to choose Aphrodite, because I've decided that I'm going to choose Aphrodite. <sighs> I bet her boons are good because they're like, there's going to be a certain amount of our player base that's going to like not want to use her. 
and we're gonna hurt them. And I'm like, mm, super giant games. How dare, how dare. Cause Ares is really good too, right? Sure to hate that I'll guy. Just tuck that away. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Zagreus. Am I, am I doing this faster? Than I usually do? Am I getting through here fast? Off to taint Elysium again? Shut up, Dad. I might be. Let's see what we got to go shopping. I mean, that's really cheap. I'm not missing health, but I might wind up. <laughs> well, Tempe, that's good because I will never not complain at that. <sighs> you know, I do love chaos. Oh my God, I'm sorry. But like, Zagreus being in a mood and chaos just wanting to talk about fishing. It's just like, that's one of my favorite things that's happened. <laughs> I think that's really great. All right. One of these days. The thing is, some of these are really, really, really cheap. I'm like, well, maybe it's worth doing, but I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna... I just stick to Meg's skull, because why not? I'm making up for Get lost time. Yeah, thank you. Wow, Zagreus. Get me out of here. Much nicer climate. So I have this much better way of destroying pottery if I can just aim it right. Really, they just need to stick me in a room full of pottery so that I can practice aiming with it. All right, are you gonna be broody, my little friend? And yes, that was a new line, Jando. This is very, very new. Like it, it's it and it fits his newer way of 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 communicating. Oh my god, there's gonna be like extra enemies in Elysium. I don't like that. Maybe we could just not have extra enemies in Elysium. How does that sound? <laughs> that was grand though. You have to admit that was grand. All right, now the real problem comes. Oh geez, oh geez, those little bombs. I hate those guys. We all hate those guys. No, stop it. Stop, stop, stop. Oh my God. Okay, that's where my freezing is. Okay, I think I just rammed my face onto the enemy and took damage because of it. That was not my best move. All right, Hermes, what's up, friend? From Olympus boss. This goes, Zagreus, take absolutely all the time you need making your way to us. We know the going must be treacherous, and we assure you our support however long it takes. Oh, how about that? Hermes hasn't been to Olympus. Or Olympus. He hasn't he hasn't been to Olympus in, in who knows how long. <sighs> oh my god, okay, so like because I can't take anything Hermes says at face value, I have to, like, look at this, like, ten different ways. Like, this could be him delivering a message from Olympus. This could be him making fun of Olympus. Like, this could be him being an adorable, supportive cousin, being like, look, I know that I'm all about speed, but you don't have to be all about speed because things are hard, so it's okay, take your time. <laughs> or he could actually be passing along a message. Or he could be making fun of, like, Olympus being like, you gotta get here. You gotta get here. Not even thinking about, like, you know, I don't know. Because, like, I mean, this is obviously not really a message from Olympus. Like, when he's like, oh, how about that? Okay, yeah, no, what it is, it's clearly, it's clearly just him being like, like, well, it's like when there's, like, a kid, and, like, the kid need, the kid wants something, and you're like, oh, look, this thing got left behind by Santa. It's exactly the thing you wanted. Thanks, Santa. Like, yeah, 
Zag so Hermes is trying to cheer Zagreus up. That's really cute. Hermes, you're adorable. In your own weird way. Oh, man. This is, this is the run for this, by the way. Let us uh, go. Hold on, I want to check and make sure there's not any more like money things around. There's not any money things around. Okay. Yeah, it's the sort of thing that I could see somebody else saying, but I feel like <clears throat> the way he said like, like basically, well, 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 fancy that, is I'm pretty sure that he, um, I'm pretty sure that that's just him. But like pretending, but, like not really pretending. I don't know. It's cute. It's cute. Hermes is a little teeny bit patronizing to Zagreus, but in an affectionate, like, older sibling sort of way, which is cute. Yeah, Cole, I've thought actually about putting together video essays. In fact, I've started drafting out a few essays. Like, there's one that I really wanted to write or, or put together as a video about the themes of Final Fantasy X, because um, I've had a lot of time to think about that. Um, I think there was something I wanted to talk about with Final Fantasy VII Remake. Like, there have been, not just Final Fantasy, I swear, there have been a bunch of games, but I feel like I wouldn't be able to articulate it well enough. Like, it's it's one thing to, like, say it on stream like this. People don't expect me to have, like, structured it and done my research and stuff, so if it sounds, like, halfway coherent, people are like, oh, she's actually thought about it. That's good. But if you, like, make, like, a structured video essay, you have to actually, like, plan that in advance, which I don't do very well. I don't outline things until I've written them, so I'd have to just kind of, like, talk and see what happened. Um... And like, then people would be like, you got the details wrong. And I'd be like, oh, oh, I did, didn't I? Never mind. Whereas like here, like people are like, that was an interesting thing you said, even if you got the details wrong. <sighs> yeah, I could explain the miniature golf course in Final Fantasy X. Yeah, no, Hermes calling him Cuz is just, it's a very cute nickname that em emphasizes the family. As opposed to the uncles calling him nephew. <clears throat> when it doesn't... I mean, there's no real equivalent to cuz, um, but the choosing to have Hermes, like, say, like, the, like, the shorter, less formal thing is cute. I really like, well, okay, blue glass, blue glass. I want to write or do a video essay on those others. I have written 150,000 word fanfic about Final Fantasy VI, so I feel that it is covered. <laughs> I feel like everything that I want to say about it, I've said. <laughs> <clears throat> oh no, Chrono, are you are you like in like a race to see who can who can post the fanfic faster? I should write some some Hades fanfic at some point just just because. But yeah, like I don't know if I'm, I don't know that I'd be good enough at video essaying too. But I'm gonna be doing like pre-made content stuff um, at some point because uh, I'm going to be a. Uh, I'm, oh my god, he sounds like even the way he says that. It's, like, he says "got you" um, normally, but he doesn't sound like that when he says when he says it. He's like more like taunting, whereas here he sounds like mad. It's really interesting. Okay, where's the next round? Because there's gonna be like a bazillion rounds. Sorry, I got distracted. I was saying something, but then I started fighting monsters. You know how it is. Where are they? Oh shoot, I don't know. Let me grab that. No! Jeez. There we go. Whew. Sorry, I was saying a thing and then I got distracted. Triple jab. Serrated point. Hmm. Hmm. Why would I ever choose that? I don't even dash strike. Attack three times in a spread pattern. That sounds useful. They'll fear me with this spear. Hey, hey, hey. Fear rhymes with spear.
Look. <clears throat> oh, it only shortens the dash attack. Okay, that was not clear. Oh my god, Zagreus. Oh my god, Chrono. Amazing. <clears throat> Alright. Oh, what? Okay, that's really cool. All right, let's see. We got palm, pa palm, palm, and monies. Let's go get some palms. Oh, jeez. Oh my god. Okay, where are you? There's another one somewhere around here. Oh, you die. You die. No, you die. Oh! Okay, so you don't actually want to hit those with this. You want to just let them do their thing. Okay, cool. Don't get hit by those. Jeez, you could totally take damage after the fact. That would suck. What am I going to power up? Alright. I need to remember that I have a special max gauge bonus. Wow. Wow. Got some zest. <laughs> Zesty. Huh. Amazing. <clears throat> what have you got for me? Nah, money's not that important. I mean, I'll eat my words eventually, probably, but right now, money's not that important. <clears throat> All right, let's see what we got. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Will you- will you stop? Okay, hold on. Oh my god, this is- Oh jeez. Oh my god. Oh my god, what is going on up there? I don't know that I like it. Hold on, I gotta get these. Oh, there's more of you guys. Oh my god, okay. Oh, jeez, no, no. Oh my god, hold on. No, 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 no. And also no, have I mentioned no? No, stop, 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 stop. No. I feel like this is a pretty decent, nice. decent build. Oh, ho, ho. he's feeling a bit better about that. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? Um, I've got a lot of money. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Thanks, Cole Rains. Well, so I'm gonna be doing my first like created in advance content. Where I'm going to be playing through Final Fantasy XIV not on stream and trying to put together a video of that. We'll see how that goes. And I've done like sort of little video essay type things in a like just like like freeform vlog. Like let's talk about some aspect of like mental health or getting through stuff in life or whatever. Um, I haven't done one of those in several years. I think th I think those were from 2019. Um, and I've thought about revisiting them, but I haven't done a, a miscellaneous. All right. Oh, wait, is it miscellaneous? Like miscellaneous, but with a mice? Moosey, micey. I, I just figured that out. <clears throat> but yeah, I, I don't know. I, there's just so many different things I want to make in the world. And if I could actually, like, finish more things, then maybe I could finish my, my essays. <laughs> All right, well, if folks would like to see any of those kinds of essays or something like that, like, let me know. But the problem with, like, being, like, I guess, like, a content creator who makes, like, a whole bunch of different things is, like, not everybody... People are kind of, like, I want to see you do this and you're doing that instead. Which, like, I built my, like, online presence doing music. And then I started streaming, and that took over, and now I sort of do music too, but kind of not, so. Oh my god, miscellaneous. That's really, really, really cute. Really, really cute. 
I like children mispronouncing things. I think it's really precious, and I try never to make them feel bad about it. Oh, really, Blue Glass? Okay, because I've thought about returning. I have some idea of what I'd like to do. First of all, I need to do a welcome to my channel video, which I've been meaning to do for a few weeks, but, like, <laughs> stuff's been crazy. Um, but maybe I can try to record that, and maybe I can work on cutting that, or something like that, maybe over the holiday. We'll see. We'll see. There's a lot I want to get done, and I tend to overcommit myself, and then get really stressed out. <laughs> but then I get stuff done, so we'll see. Well, because, like, okay, I stream. I do have the fanfic. And then I'm turning into a podfic, which I also have to do some casting, not to mention recording the narration, doing all of the editing, um, uh, directing all of the cast, doing their parts. Um, did I mention the editing and putting it all together? Um, making music, because I'm making music for all of it, making that all work, getting sound effects if necessary, getting the whole thing functioning, and then figuring out where I'm going to host it besides YouTube. Um, then I've also got music that I'm doing separately on the side and my band and this, which I'm trying to do more intentional stuff with my streams. Um, I don't know. There's just so much stuff. Also, I want to write an original story and I, 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 really, I know, I know. <laughs> I feel like I don't do anything because I've got all these ideas and I spin my wheels, but I'm hoping that I was doing really well with my ADHD meds, but they don't seem to be working as much anymore. Um, or else I've gotten used to them. I don't know. We're going to step up the dose like in a week or so. So we'll see how that goes. Um, because I've been feeling, I haven't been feeling the like same like level of like relative calm that I was feeling on them earlier. And I haven't had any of the side effects. So I'm like, let's see what happens. So who knows? Although there was the theory that I was getting less overwhelmed in video games because of that, which may be the case, but... Hmm. <laughs> yes, yeah, Garble, that's part of why I do things like this. Um. Well, so I've only been on this dose for a month and a half. Um. So I don't know. We're just, we're going to see what happens. We're going to see what happens. Um. So who knows? Who even knows? It's a mystery. Brain meds are a mystery. Oh, look at that. There's a little bit more money it's over here. Go shopping. Zagreus. Okay. That was not what I meant to do. Clearly, I don't have all of the Spears abilities done. But yeah, Squizgar, that's part of why, like, I tend to do things, like, where I just stream stuff. Um, but I know what I, like, kind of, I'm gonna do the Welcome to My Channel video in the same way that I did my videos, like, that were, like, the video essay, like, they're called, I think, Life, the Universe, and Everything, or something like that. I don't know. Um, but, uh, but, uh, like, that sort of thing. So if you see that on my channel sometime soon, like, be like, good job, Lauren. You did the thing despite brain gremlins telling you not to. I'm working on it. Let's go shopping. Who needs Aphrodite? Not me. Oh, you could just, like, not buy anything, not talk to him. of both the surface and the underworld are hoarded by the river boatman Charon, whose services are often tended to the wealthiest within Elysium. So he sells things to others in Elysium. He really gets around. Interesting. Oh, these are bone bo bo bone boonus bonus bags boothic. <sighs> Boo. a hard word for me to say apparently all right well look at you <sighs> damn it Aphrodite <laughs> Last time. 
<laughs> anyway. <laughs> oh my god. Good job, Chrono. Chrono has foreseen this. Seal and Mortar, thank you so much for raiding. Flannybot is supposed to let us know somebody is raiding, and I'm sorry she didn't. Well, hello and welcome. Thank you, friends. Apparently, Apollo is in this game and has given Chrono the gift of prophecy. You don't want the gift of prophecy from Apollo, though that doesn't usually end well. Apparently it did, Blue Glass. I choose to pretend that if I had done it otherwise, I wouldn't have gotten all rare options. Um, let's go with reduced damage. That's always a good thing. <sighs> what have you been up to, Seal and Mortar? What have you been doing with your time? I'm sorry, Angamarond, but I see your name and I can't think, help but think of Angarad. Like, the, the name... I mean, it's, it's actually like a, like a historical and mythological name, but for me, it makes me think of Lloyd Alexander's Chronicles of Friday. So, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, Noel girl. No. No. And also, no. <laughs> if anybody missed it, Noel girl said, well, at least if Apollo gives you something as a gift, it won't make you a liar, which is also not just the word liar is and one who lies, but also L-Y-R-E, the musical instrument that is associated with Apollo. That is dreadful. Perfect. Well done, friend. All right. We're going to resist. I feel fabulous. <laughs> you look fabulous, Zagreus, dear. You should be proud of that one. That was well done, little girl. I'm gonna buy this, get a little bit of health back. Why not? Wait, no, we don't have the thing to get health back. Well, whatever. I don't need health anyway. Oh my god. I get the feeling the game is trying to tell me something here. I don't like it. Oh, but maybe I'll talk to maybe oh no, this is maybe gonna talk to Asterius. I can't not talk to Asterius. Pre match. <gasps> he did he, clash here again this little excitement in his voice. We never will allow you through without a fight. Oh man. I like Asterius. Now that I remember that Asterius might be the mini boss that I fight here, then I wanna see him. The rematch. Exagrius wants to be friends with Asterius. He's like, your best friend is a total jerk, but you're not. Be my pal. And Asterius is like, you do not understand that Theseus is the best person in the world for me. I get it, I think. You're nothing like Theseus. Why go along with everything he says and does? You're your own man and bull. Amazing. King Theseus slew me in life and saved me in death. I was cast into Erebus. A monster. He found me when he died, and he used his influence to bring me here with him. That's literally exactly what I was talking about at the beginning of the stream. Like, and they're clearly, I wasn't sure if they were going to kind of leave it as, I mean, subtext isn't quite the right word, if they were going to leave it understated, but because it seems to tie so thoroughly into, like, the, like, the thematic stuff that I think think they're trying to explore, that I think they're going to do something with significant related to Zagreus later on. Um, I'm glad that they are putting it out there and discussing it, talking about it, and, like acknowledging and addressing it directly. Yes, mini golfing wins again. It is satisfying. I know sometimes I'm completely off base, but usually you can at least see where I was going with it. But sometimes I get it. To be fair, this one wasn't so much mini golfing. Like mini golfing, I feel like at its strongest is when I'm just like way out there and you're like, whoa. When I was like, Persephone doesn't know that ha that Zagreus exists. Therefore, maybe Hades created a son that she didn't know. And it's like, well, no, she didn't know he was alive because her baby died. It's like, okay, they're not the same thing. But we know what you're getting at. You weren't completely wrong. 
not completely wrong. So, yeah. Let's hear more about this. That's nice of him and all, but sounds like you're even to me. Seeing as he killed you in the first place. Zagreus doesn't understand the complexity of Asterius' situation. No, we're not. And I will fight for him and alongside him for eternity. As recompense for helping me to understand exactly who I am. Oh, jeez. Oops, that should not have hit me, but it did. Why is he still going? I thought I got him down to like half health before he would go. Is he staying longer? Did he get mad at me? Okay. I'm gonna die here. Yep. So it's a time thing, not a health thing. Okay. The champion of Elysium awaits. Until such time. <laughs> I just got you, bull man. Chomping off. Lady Aphrodite. Zagreus has chilled out a little bit. Olympus, I accept this message. Uh, no? Why would it be capped at 25%? Who is that a duo with? Aphrodite and Zeus. Oh, yeah, no. <clears throat> We're gonna do this one instead. Because it's also a faded truce. <laughs> Folks, my friend is here. My friend is here. My friend is here. Stubborn fool. Yes. <laughs> oh no! Did I cut off what he was saying? <sighs> well, Seal and Water, thank you so much. Get some good sleep, and I hope things are good for you. So have a good, have a good, have a good evening. I do not have any health. I'm so low on health. Oh man. Hi Patroclus. God, his song is really pretty though. I really like it. Hi Matt. Welcome. Say, isn't that the leafy right nearby? You've been through so much, don't you ever? You could just drink deeply of the river of forgetfulness and be done with, no? Oh, Zagreus. It Honey. has been rather tempting, yes. And I have taken sips from time to time. But I've some memories I'm not quite ready to give up on yet. <sighs> oh. <sighs> Just checking up on you, sir. Oh, so polite. Bum, bum. 
Oh man, I want to know what's up. I want to know what to do with them. But I'll figure it out eventually. Let's try not to die, shall we? Oh jeez, my brain just completely forgot how to play, so hopefully we're gonna do all right. Oh jeez. Oh jeez, yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. Well, oh, damn it. I know, Zag. I know. Right, and there's gonna be more of these guys. This should be like a whole ton. Oh my god, no, 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 you don't, no, you don't, no, you, oh no, you don't, no, you don't, no, you don't, oh my god. No, 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 oh my god, I'm dying. No, you can go through that, Lauren. Oh my god, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna lose all my lives here. This is going to be the run that went really well until it stopped going really well, which I guess is kind of how things go sometimes, isn't it? Oh my god, that was kind of great. Oh shoot, there we go! I don't know what she's doing here, but she's just- okay, that was the wrong one, but you know, whatever. Why are you impervious? Oh, because of that thing. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm going to die in this room. I'm gonna die right here. All of my li all of my lives are going away. Every single one of them. Well, that sucks. It turns out having additional uh, enemies in Elysium is rough. And this isn't even gonna give me life back because I think I changed that. Yeah. Oh well. That's okay. I'm honestly, like, I've learned a lot. Let's go shopping. <laughs> no death defiance here. Tragically. That's true, we did learn a lot of things. Vincent, thank you for following. That's true, I did get I did get a diamond and other stuff, so like I'm actually doing this one a lot. Playing ten stacks of chill causes a blast. I do like taking less damage. Let's go with that to see what happens. At this point, it doesn't super matter. Because I don't think I'm going to make it through here, honestly. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to die to these two. But that's okay. Yeah, no, that's true. I did, I did, um, I did get some cool bonus stuff. And I got to see some interesting things. So, let's go for it. Hello, Gentlemen. you two. So polite. What ho, that is a handsome spear you doubtless claim deceitfully from some more worthy bearer than yourself. By the way, if you forget, that is in fact Achilles' spear. Oh, that is. Old thing. How nice of you to notice. It once belonged to the hero Achilles. A little past your time, but maybe you've heard of him, seeing as he's much more famous than you ever were. All right, Theseus is gonna need some ice for that burn. <laughs> amazing, 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 Zagreus! Like, well done, well done. <laughs> it's true, Aunt Jeffrey Tricks. You say such things to me. I was the greatest king of Athens in my day. 
details of my exploits with Asterius and many other challenges shall long outlive whatever comes of you. Uh huh. Oops. Well, that's off to a good start. I swear I'll hit you yet. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. No. Oh jeez. Wow. I'm doing really badly. Jeez, there we go. Already lost one. Oh my god, did you hear? Did you hear his voice? Holy cow, Zagreus sounds really cool when he's being in serious mode. No. Did you see, folks? Did you see what I did there? I saw his, like, oh no thing on me, and I was like, oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put a thing between me and him. Oh jeez, that was not so good. I'm gonna die here. Oops. Oh, nope, there we go. Oh jeez, I should not have gotten hit by that, but I did. Oh jeez, oh jeez, okay, I moved out of the way. Oh jeez, I keep fr Oh, he does shockwaves! Has he always done shockwaves? Probably. Probably. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no. Well, at least somebody had a good time with that. Asterius feels good about that. <sighs> the dreaded Minotaur. <laughs> it wasn't just the Minotaur, but you blame him if you want to. Call him by his name. <sighs> Man, that was pretty good. I think. I think I did pretty all right. All things considered. Oh, hello, Meg and Hypnos. I'm just gonna creep over here and eavesdrop. <laughs> Nobody's gonna notice this. Dum -da -dum -da -dum. I am but a simple shade hiding in the background. Nothing to see here. I can see that, Matt. I think that I can find the lounge well on my own, Hypnos. Oh, wait. What is this? Did you just ask me? Out? We needed a little bit of comic relief here, and here it is. Oh my god. <laughs> Did Hypnos just ask Meg out? Me? No, 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 no. I'd never even think to do that, miss. I mean, you have your station, and I have mine. We're from two different worlds, you could say. Fated never to be seen together much. Uh... Every time I talk to you, you somehow take it as a compliment. Is that correct? Then let me give you some advice for once. Stop being an idiot. She's, she's helping. Meg, you're helping. You're very helpful. You have many helpful I'll things to say. I'm oh, my Alas. Oh my god. Oh my god. Whatever. I love Hypnos. He's cute and silly. Oh no! Achilles! 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 I want to tell you about everything and you're not here. I am sad about that. Alright, we're gonna go into here. Let's see what's up. Greetings, everyone. Just visiting. <sighs> Slain by the champions of Elysium. Did not do very well. Good on numbers for now. Tragically. Hmm. <laughs> you shades hang in there. <laughs> he doesn't have his his heart is not in it. You know? Like, even these lines, I think, were re-recorded. Mistakes are proof that you're doing your best. Well, maybe not entirely, but... Oh my god, they're just like, oh my god, Zacharias, could you not? Yeah, no, Hypnos is very adorable and silly. Hello, Hypnos. I see you're awake. Oh, wait, I thought he was sitting on something. He's, in fact, sitting on his cape as a chair. 
He's just like, his, his, he's levitating on his cape as though it's a chair. That's really silly and cute. Hypnos, you're silly and cute. All right, let us talk to our puppy. boy, my mother. Persephone, you remember her, don't you? She was pleased to hear about you. But I couldn't stay for long, and I have to find her again. So, guess I'll see you at the temple then. You notice how he, like, drops his voice quietly because he doesn't want his dad to hear this? That's really sweet. That's really sweet. <laughs> the ghoulish features of the much-reviled Hound of Hell all soften instantly upon the mention of a certain name. Briefly, then, the monster is at peace. Oh, what a good dog. We gotta pet the pup. More pets are certainly in order here. Absolutely, Zagreus. You'll feel better. Wait, Carissa's tongue is yellow. Why did I not notice it was yellow before? And his nose is, is, his nose is green? I don't think I noticed his coloring. Interesting. All right. Hello. What's up? Good shade. Now I have, wait, hold on. The court music wants me to know that there's more court music. Well, too bad. Um, so this will give you, you get more dice if you go to the key chambers. Cool. is and I don't really want challenges per se but I do want lore you know all right dad fine let's see what you have to say so help me boy I cannot fathom why you would have bought back the authority to enter the administrative chamber <laughs> once again because you can't tell me what to do dad I knew you thought I'd never do it under any circumstances father that seemed reason enough don't fear not. I have no plans to reapply for a position there. Like me, Zagreus operates on spite. I think many of us do. That does alleviate a deeply rooted fear of mine, in fact. The scene you caused in your brief time there yet remains a widely talked about event among the shades who toil for me still. Oh, good. I'm still famous. I'll be sure to say hello. Oh my god, Zagreus, I love you. Alright, Nyx, 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 Nyx. Nyx, why did you never send word to Mother that I lived? You knew at least approximately where she went. You and Father, you could have spared her so much pain. This is the question right here. I'm glad he straight up asks it, because he should. I swore a binding oath never to say, child. I have already circumvented it as much as can be done. Know that we, that I, acted with only her well-being in mind, as well as yours. Who makes that statement plural? Who is the we? Is there a better side of Hades locked inside there? But his worst nature has taken over? Does he have different aspects? The way I think um, Demeter has different aspects. And her worst self is her winter aspect. I wonder, like, who is the we? Who is the we, Nyx? It's not chaos. It is definitely not chaos. Chaos, I don't think is actually, I've thought about it. I don't think chaos is actually involved in any of this stuff. I think chaos is just kind of watching. I don't think chaos meddles, um, but gets delighted when we entertain them with stuff. Um, but like, it's not, it's not going to be chaos. There's a couple of possibilities. Like, it could secretly be some, like, good side of Hades locked up in there. Maybe. Could be whatever Hermes is up to, because Hermes is definitely up to something. You know? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm very curious. I'm very curious. Uh. <laughs> he does not trust or like that. Chef? What's for breakfast? Dinner, maybe? <laughs> breakfast for dinner. Dinner for breakfast. Ah. What will they think of next? Here's the catch of the day. Or night. All right, Fair so market value. got some stuff. I don't know what stuff I want, so let's see what you've got. Oh, I could trade a whole bunch of keys. 
to turn into nectar. Because I don't know what else I'm going to do with my keys at this point. Just give my friends friendship juice. Amazing. My roommate kind of does dinner for breakfast. It's it, We have very different experiences with breakfast because we have different cultural experiences with foods. It's really been very interesting because it's not something I ever thought about. Um, uh, no, I'm, I'm going to wait and figure out if there's something I want to do with keys, but I am going to trade some keys maybe for nectar. I don't know. No, I'll wait. <sighs> He's like, has like the grumpy face. Hello. Appreciate your patience. Walked right out of the pool of sticks. I bet she's mad. Who walked out of the pool of sticks? Meg? Hmm. Wait, was there something else I could listen to or look at? Not as comfy as it looks. Oh man, puppy! Excellent work, Severus. He can still be excited talking about his doggy. So, like, <sighs> this is a thing that I'm interested in, but I don't actually want challenges, you know. This seems useless. You don't need that. I mean, this is probably actually just like if you're just like running out of things and you want to just like renovate everything. Okay, so this is just dice. Alter the word, the reward for the next chamber or boons. So does it do anything else though, I wonder? I'm just looking to see if there's anything else cool here. <laughs> Ominous bone work. I really do want the towel rack. I, I want the towel rack. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna buy, I'm just gonna buy the towel rack. I'm sorry. I just really want the towel rack. I don't know why I want it, but I do. Now I want this actually is what I want. Oh, shoot, I'm gonna have to save my money. Supposedly measures infinitesimal distances. That's some reference to something I'm sure. Yes, go ahead and scream in spoiler chat. Go for it. I could get doggy treats. Oh my gosh. Makes the kitchen appear to serve superior cuisine. Oh my god. Oh my god. Amazing. <laughs> Incredible. Oh my god. You could display my fish. <sighs> Amazing. Amazing. I do kind of want the Achilles wall scroll though, I'm not gonna lie. Broken weapons from a historic siege. I bet there's something significant of that. Even if they're just like a funny reference or something like that. Hmm. Like part of me wonders if the music will eventually do something. But... <coughs> Like, all of these look like they're just going to change what you get as a reward. This is the only one that seems to actually unlock something. Oh, this is a thing I had to unlock. I don't remember that. Oops. Oh, man. I don't know. I don't know, so I'm going to... I'm going to sit on it and be indecisive and go into my room. What did I have instead of night and darkness? I don't think this made enough of a difference. I really like this. I kind of count on this. <laughs> so I think I'm going to stick with that. Oh, I guess neither one of these has any points in it. So it doesn't other. matter what it is. Huh. <sighs> All right. Well, that's, I think where we are. I think that was what a full run plus Lauren talking a whole lot. It turns out that these right here are not a guaranteed success. Alas, but I will put them away. I may or may not wear them again in the future. They do actually affect how I hear things through my headphones, which is ridiculous, but true. Okay. Well, 
that was exciting. I have to figure out what I want to go shopping for next time because I feel as though I should go shopping at some point, but I'm not exactly sure what I should shop for. Um, and I don't, I don't, I'm not asking for advice, but I'm trying to figure out what on earth would be the right thing to do. <sighs> well, this has been exciting. We, 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 we obviously did not make it up to see mom again, but I feel like we learned a lot. We had a lot of really interesting conversations with people. Things are definitely coming along. Um, and maybe I'll be able to get some more interesting aspects, which is cool. I love it when people comment on the aspects. I'm like, yes, give me more reasons to want to get more aspects. I did love a Hydra to death. That's true. <laughs> uh, interesting new discoveries. Yes, lots and lots of little bitty things. They're definitely doing something with Theseus and Asterius, which I'm really interested in. Um, and I, I hope that Patroclus and uh, and Achilles, that that's something I can, conti can, can continue to move along. Um, we'll kind of see what happens with everybody, whether I get um, what I'm hoping for to unlock, which is somehow connecting those people so they can talk to each other. It's a goal of mine. <laughs> but I don't know exactly how to do that. So I'll have to figure that out. Um, but yeah, no, there's a lot going on. Like, a whole lot going on. Um, a lot of neat gameplay things. I think that I'm going to be able to make more of the weapons and things work for me better than I think I would have expected. So that's exciting. I'll probably still struggle with the bow, but you know, that's fine. Maybe there's a version of the bow that you can button mash. And that's all I need. Yeah, there is a lot to this game. I hope you folks don't mind. It's probably going to take me a little while to beat it. <laughs> Apparently I'm making decent time despite talking and feeling like it took me a while to get out. Um, we'll see how we do. I think if I decide that I want to make a run for it to the surface, I think I could, if I wanted to prioritize that, I think I could at this point. I don't know that that's something that I want to do yet because there's so much else to do still. Um, Jando, I am told that, that I will know when I am done with the game. So I will wait until I hit that point. Um, yeah, so I will, I will wait until I get to the point that feels like I have beaten the game. Um, yeah, Blues, no, that's a good point. I, if, it, if it gets grindy. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm glad to see people are bonding over Discworld. I've only been able to get through a few of the books, but, uh, but I think Terry Pratchett is a, an absolutely brilliant soul, and the world needs more people like him in it. So if you can take little bits of what you've learned from him and use those to make the world a better place, I think he would be proud. So thank you for the cheer and for generally having a good sentiment. Yeah, I don't think I introduced myself to the folks who dropped by. Um, yeah, um, if anybody has wandered in here, I'm Lauren the Flute. I play mostly video games and also sometimes music on stream. I do a lot of things. I tell stories. I make me, I, I sing. I play flute. I um, talk a lot about story and storytelling and what games are doing with stories and how games like, I don't know, how they put together from a narrative perspective and also like things they make me think about in the real world, mental health, stuff like that. So if this sounds like fun for you, please feel free to give me a follow. Um, I play Hades every Thursday night. I'm currently, my schedule is Tuesday nights, we just started Horizon Zero Dawn. Thursday nights, we play Hades. This Saturday, I think we're actually going to beat Deltarune, but I keep saying that. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, and then we're going to pick up Psychonauts too. So this should be fun. Um, <laughs> Pranic lived. Thank you so much. I'm really glad you've been enjoying the Delta Rune, and I hope that uh, I hope that Saturday winds up being fun for everyone. Part of me is like, I don't know if I want to say goodbye to this game, but there will be more coming up eventually, and maybe Toby Fox will make more games after Delta Rune, and I can just Delta Room, and I can just keep playing Toby Fox games for eternity because that's my favorite thing. Um, but yeah, uh, thank you all so much for joining. I'm going to try my best to. Uh, I'm going to try my best to uh, maybe put together some of those like videos that I talked about. Maybe I'll do a channel video. I'm going to try to put the stream videos. I'm going to try to archive them sooner on YouTube. I apologize. There's been a delay. Partly timing, partly my brain. Um, I'm going to keep writing fanfic and working on music and stuff like that. So if you like things 
I will try to make and share the things. Always feel free to join us on our Discord, which Chrono is linking to, if you want the, uh, like, if you want to be part of the crew that talks about spoilers for games I'm playing, you can join the special Stream Spoilers channel. Just ask Mod for permission. Um, and otherwise, like, I feel like that's basically it. That's the thing. That's the thing that I have to say. Thank you all so much for joining me. This has been very fun. Um, I really am enjoying my way through this game. Um, and I'm really excited to see kind of where it goes and how things go, how things play out, what happens to the characters, what's actually happening, and whether any of my crazy mini golfing is correct. So take care of yourselves. Thank you again. I will see you maybe next week, maybe Saturday, maybe on YouTube. <laughs> I'm going to actually hit the off button this time when I try to. Bye. <laughs>